I'm down here at Grey Bruce Dog Care in downtown Owen Sound at 3rd and 2nd and I've decided to get my dog Mika uh, shaved essentially, just too much hair. She molds and sheds uh, when the spring gets here and it's stuck all over the house. So we're doing it for the first time and we have an excellent professional down here with reasonable rates going to look after me and my house and my floors from here on out for the rest of the season. I hear it can take about two, three months for, it to, for the hair to start coming back or be in a better shape, but look, it's absolutely beautiful. She's probably gonna, you know, be cooler throughout the summer and uh, enjoy it. And she don't look too bad either. Look at she's calm. So you can bring your dog down here also if you do need to get uh, any shaving done, bathing, there's um, various other treatments that uh, can help with your dog and releasing the undercoat that exists. Hey Mika, are you happy? Yeah, it's not too scary, is it? Oh, good girls, yeah. Boom down. Now you see, oh, there's the evidence of how much dirt that could have went on the floor. Is there anything that dog owners should know after a dog gets shaved? Is there anything that you should put, you know, wrap them in a towel or have some sort of warm thing for them? Is there any, is, is that a myth or a misconception? Are they going to be fine? Is there anything you advise? They're fine. Um, depending on how short they are, or if they haven't really, if it's really, really sunny out, possibly you, you need to watch out for some um, over sun exposure, but that wouldn't last for very long. Yeah, I just learned about that actually on the tip of her nose. You gotta put sunscreen maybe sometimes if you take them to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> but, but of course we need to do that with as well because he's got a really light nose. Mm. I guess this would be easier to see if um, a dog had fleas also throughout the summer. Absolutely. So that would increase, because right now, for many years, I wasn't sure if uh, she hadn't, you know, I'd have someone, have you checked her? And I'm like, how do you check her? Yeah, you got to pull it. <laughs> it's so hard to even see one spot, but this would really help. Yeah. If there was a tick that got on her, perhaps even, Very you know, so. going through the forest. Yeah. And this all around, this boy, it's not snow in the May. <laughs> that is dog hair in May. Getting the undercoat taken off the easy way. Oh, it makes you so happy, doesn't it? Not quite. We do fulgrims on dogs and cats. We actually do a lot of the larger dogs as well because we're set up for really big dogs. Um, and we're usually open evenings and weekends, which makes it really simple for people that have day jobs. So their dogs are usually in and out within a couple hours, which is nice for the dogs and the owners. Mika, hey Mika, how you doing? You, yeah, you're looking all like no more fur to drop and you're looking absolutely beautiful. Now you want to go for a walk, right? Oh yeah, just a little itchy? Oh yeah, good girls, good girls, yeah. Returning the to PetSmart, we're taking the furbinator for large dogs back. It was in the range of 80, 70 to 80 bucks, so it was the fur job. I find the fur, cutting of the fur, much more efficient than this device. This device did not do what it needed to be done. If my expectations were a little high, but um, yeah, if you really want to get uh, the fur problem done, you know, <laughs> with your dog under control, I suggest, uh, you know, maybe consider just a fur. Sorry, PetSmart, not this time, even though I do like your, um, some of your products and services.